flying after three years and I'm very excited Let's go to Dubai. We got to the airport quite early, which was nice because we got to check in our bags quickly and breeze through boarding. The flight was only half filled and we're pretty pumped about it because that means that we get a whole row for ourselves. And after buckling in, we're ready for takeoff. It's a 9 hour flight, so I bought some stuff to do. I got to crank out the edit of the last video, link below, and of course, I slept as well. Although my cousin enjoyed the sleeping part more than any of us. 9 hours later, we're finally in Dubai. The Dubai airport is quite big, and to get to the other side, we had to take a train and go through a lot of walkalators, which I surely took advantage of for this b-roll shot right here. Upon exiting, I was surprised that my parents and my tita, who both live here in Dubai, had a welcome thing waiting for us. Flowers, hugs, and here's my mom with that big banner that they made. Of course, we said our hellos, took pictures, and then went home. We arrived here 2am local time, which means there's really not much to do. But of course, we're all pumped that we got to see each other again, and of course, that we got to travel after a long while. First day. First day. Actual first day. First day high. Me and the boys started the day early. We went to get our favorite drinks, this is mine, and then my cousin went on and committed a Kit Kat crime. We went to a place that's very famous. It takes a metro ride and eight walkalators to get here. Any guesses? Yep, Dubai Mall. This screen right here, on top of me, it's a Guinness World Record holder of the largest pixel count, the largest resolution, which is kind of the same to be honest. But yeah, it holds that record as well. And it's the biggest OLED screen in the world. 50 meters wide and 40 meters tall. It's even on top of this indoor aquarium. We said hi to the fishes and sharks. Side note, I can't imagine how they keep track in feeding all these fish. And why doesn't the shark eat all the small ones? Does anyone know? Let me know in the comments. Okay, back to the story. Right in front of the aquarium is the land of the sweets. Dubai Mall also has the one of the biggest, I think the biggest candy shop in the world. It's called Candy Licious. All of this, I still think this is the best. Fight me, fight me, this is the best. We're about to eat Cheesecake Factory here. We're just waiting for our table, and yeah, I'm actually very hungry. Here's Ford. Hi, Ford. Hi. Hungry? Yes. This is our first meal in after landing, so you can imagine we ordered a lot. But after inhaling all the food, we headed out and continued walking and looking at these beautiful pieces of architecture. Then we found ourselves in the palace courtyard, which apparently my mom knows a lot about. Hotel. And of course, the mandatory tourist photo taking took place. When I travel, I always look forward to seeing the old architecture talaga of a place. Not really yung, like, the new modern stuff. Because like, with globalization, syempre, everything kind of looks the same. Eh, you can see the culture talaga in the old architecture. And you can see it here dito talaga sa downtown Dubai. Like this one. It's an old tram that people used before to go around Dubai. It's just a display now, but it's really a piece of Dubai's history. Then, we continued walking and found some more beautiful architecture. architecture. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had good timing. As we went back towards the direction of Burj Khalifa, the fountain show started. If you're this close, <laughs> Mm. 
may ano robot digital robo whatever robo grocery robo grocery Gro robot Gro Gro robot robot it's basically a convenience store that strolls around for people to order some quick snacks and drinks from. It has a lot of sensors all around it, and when it detects that no one's there, it just looks for a different location to park itself. Pretty cool, right? And then we went back in the mall to check out some sweets. And that right there is a whole baklava. Stacks of them. They're handing out free samples, so of course, us Filipinos grab some. Good. And then suddenly, I got asked by the seller. No, I'm not. I got asked if I'm famous. Tapos, Enzo said, na nephew daw ni David Dobrik. <laughs> Christopher Dobrik. <laughs> after trying out more samples, we started to head home. Dubai Mall is such a big place that has almost everything, from small stores to the most luxurious brands. No wonder everyone goes here. It was a very tiring but very fun first day. We're done with the, the mall. We're going home. We're tired. So we're just gonna go home, eat, and then rest. Yeah. Bye bye. Poor, di ko na magsara. Hindi, it ganon niya. Di galing dito. Yeah, ganon. 